Oh, he almost made it. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, this is our FC Tiny Tutor. This plane was specifically designed to be a sub-253 channel trainer, and we had no idea how incredibly popular it would be. Now, as people have been flying it, we've been getting some really great feedback, and in this episode, we want to let you know that we heard you. A lot of people love the trainer feature, they love the three-channel wing, but they want to add ailerons. In this episode, we are going to design a tiny turbo Tudor wing that will give you aileron control and also the ability to have extreme aerobatics. And at the end of the day, we're going to pass the transmitter and also put it through some stress tests. we got a lot of work to do. Let's get started. So I got the original Tiny Tutor right here. This is the actual one from the build video, which is really, really cool. This means if you've learned to fly or you're ready for that next step, you'll be able to go from three channel, which is rudder, elevator, and throttle, to four channel. Now I've seen a lot of our amazing community members making modifications to the original three channel wing. And although it will work, I really think we can make a better four channel experience by taking some of the notes of the original Turbo Tutor wing, which is a shorter, lower aspect ratio wing, which means it's a little bit fatter, a little bit shorter with bigger ailerons. And I think we can redesign that wing to not only work really good with our Mighty Mini Tutor, but also give you a mild to wild experience. So along with this flight experience, the speed of build is really important to me as well. I want this to build incredibly quick, just like the original Mighty Mini Tutor. Right now, it's 1023. I'm gonna give myself about 20 minutes to get this build, servos everything, we'll see if we can do it. So in a lot of build videos, I'm always showing you guys how to make a double Z bend and the exact linkage size that you need. And that's because wrinkly, I don't really like linkage toppers. A lot of people love them, but that's now changed. We have a new linkage topper that's included with our new power packs. And they're actually the brass linkage stoppers with a little nylon pushback, which just quickly clicks in. This means you no longer have to draw out your servo arms or your control horns, and you don't have to put that little drop of glue or instant glue on the back. As quick as you can basically slide this through and tighten it down, you can make your linkages. And we also sell our linkage stoppers separate from our power pack, so if you want these linkage stoppers, you can get them on our store. All right, wing's done. What time is it? I started it at 43 or 23 after, it's 41. From beginning to end, this whole entire wing only took 18 minutes to be able to build. And that's including the servos, the push rods, and also my favorite new linkage stoppers. All right, so we're putting the final touches on our tiny turbo tutor wing. And we're gonna go out and test fly it down at manufacturing. Now, a lot of you may not know this, but when you guys support flight tests, you're actually supporting not only what you're watching here in content, but also our manufacturing team filled with friends and family that are manufactured right here in the USA. That's right at the edge of our property. Now, people like my son Michael, Jason McQuiston, and even his dad are down there, and they are all pilots as well. We're gonna go down there and pass the transmitter. I can't thank each and every one of you guys enough for your support through the store and on this channel, because we would not be here where we are. And the best news of all is we are adding to our team. For over six years now, Flight Test has been working really hard to bring aviation to the classrooms through our FT STEM program. We're really excited to announce that we are now hiring an official position for our STEM salesman. Currently, we have thousands of kids from K through 12 participating in our STEM program all over the country and even over the world. And we're really excited to add an FT STEM sales role to our team. Now, this new salesperson is going to be working directly with our new CEO, Dave Messina. Now, you guys may not know Dave Messina, but he is a dear friend, and we have worked over the past couple of years very closely to push back unreasonable regulations and the government all around model aviation. Now, Dave has over 40 years of experience in the industry, but also over 50 years of flying in model aviation. Matter of fact, many of you guys may have gotten help from him and his team ready to flight fest with your drones and your multi rotors. As y'all may have seen in our recap video, we are going to be introducing more products than ever before, but so much of that is going to be focused on STEM. We want to bring this amazing curriculum and these products to as many schools as possible because it's amazing to see how kids' minds are changed when they see the world of flight. This FT STEM sales director position will be a full-time position with responsibilities including working with schools and districts across the country to offer FT STEM offerings, as well as providing critical feedback that we need to provide the right solutions to schools. Now, this person is going to be working directly with Dave, Lee Kackner, our overall STEM product manager, and also the team here. Now, if you have a passion and you'd like to work for the flight test team and you'd like to grow the world of flight through education, please check out the link down below, put in your resume. We'd love to see as many people apply to this job and grow a team. Our desire is that one of you guys will add to our team to help us take everything to the next level. 
Now my batteries are charged, I'm gonna throw some rubber bands on my Tiny Tutor. I cannot wait to see which new faces we add in 2024. All right, so we're at manufacturing, that's for a good reason. Although we fly a lot of weird things from battleships to uh, frankly hovercrafts, um, we don't fly aerobatic as well as some other team members, right? Yeah, yeah, um, granted, you know, we're up there all the time. We like to get down here as much as possible yeah. to include Michael and Jason, and today's the day they get to shine. Yep, this is an aileron wing, it's capable of aerobatics. I'm gonna fly it as an intermediate pilot, just seeing what it can do. And at that point, I wanna turn it over to the guys that are really talented with aerobatics to see how far they can push us. And also, if it hits something, what it can take. All right, let's do it. Let's put up first flight, see how it flies, and then we'll play past the transmitter. Go ready, here we go. Oh my goodness. All right, roll. Whee! <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I'm gonna do an inverted flyby. Now, in typical Ohio weather, it's uh, pretty breezy out here today. It is. That's, it's handling it really it well. It is. <laughs> Way better than the three channel version. All right, let's try a knife edge. I mean, also the self light ready tendency, look at this. No aura in this. And see how it just wanders back to level? Yeah, what do you say uh, we pass it off to uh, Jason and see how he does with it? Definitely. Right, now we have a whole build video that we're gonna take you through. We'll show you how to do this differential aileron setup with just linkages. So even if you have a simple radio, you're good to go. Nice job, there it buddy. Is. Thanks, all right. So one flight down, we know it flies. It flies really good, does all the basics. Let's see what the experts can do. So as we mentioned before here, Michael and Jason are the two experts in flying. Uh, you do, you guys both do hardcore 3D aerobatics and stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing at least what you can try with this guy. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. here we go. Oh, right into it, huh? <laughs> Holy cow, dude. Now you guys, you and Jason designed the 3D XL. This is not the 3D XL, is it? No. I mean, it's still got a decent capability. It has a lot of good roll tendencies in it. Super snappy on that, but I mean, if I were to make one, I'd probably increase the rudder and elevator just because it's always nicer to have it. You're, you're hovering it. <laughs> well, that's pretty darn crazy on the lower rates, too. It absolutely amazes me, the, the skill change between us and them. Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to picture how, how to move my thumbs that quickly. We're there. too quick on the landing, but we're good. <laughs> awesome. Good all right, it's lived through Michael. Let's see if it lives through Jason. You gonna throw it up? Okay, hold on to your butts. <laughs> you ready? I am ready. All right, so Jason is the pilot of our 20 foot B-17. And also you guys, you and Michael are working on a new release coming in March, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you ready? We're excited. You want me to launch it or you want to take it off? Yeah, go ahead. You can launch. I love how the first thing they do, Dave, is just start rolling yeah, it. It's just, like, oh, I don't need more than five feet to feel this thing out. <laughs> now, high wing airplanes generally have adverse, or uh, have coupling and things like that. Wow. <laughs> I had to buzz the tower. Yeah, you did. <laughs> that camera caught it. Now there's no aura on this. Anytime that we test fly an airplane, we never put the aura in and dial it to the aura. We want to make sure it flies good with a simple radio with no gyros. And that's how this is flying. Even in the wind. Do you think, do you think two cells plenty for this thing? Yeah. So by the way, th these are the guys that are manufacturing the airplanes for you. So when you're supporting flight tests, you're supporting this right here too. So uh, thank you guys. I mean, I didn't think it was going to do that much. I just wanted to see what happens when they bang the sticks. This is definitely a winner. You like it? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Now, your youngest son, he's flying the FT3D XL. You think he'll like this, too? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Now, friends, this whole airplane builds in about 30 minutes. Add another 15 for the aileron wing. You have a less than one hour build experience. And you just landed it right there. Thumbs up? Yes. Michael, definitely. thumbs up? All right. I have one last thing up my sleeve here. We're at manufacturing and there's something that we've never done ever since this building's been done. And that's going through manufacturing with an FPV plane. Wanna try it? Um, Are you doing it? I'm not gonna try it, you're gonna I try it. I get to it, try right? it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it. We got a little battery left, the plane's on We're gonna stand back and just go, whoa! Yeah, someone give my wife a helmet. <laughs> my wife's definitely prepared for us. I feel like a bubble head. You got to put the goggles down. How do I do that? Uh, I got glasses on. I know. They protect my balls. 
<laughs> Alright, so here's the goal here. Uh, we're gonna open up both the dock door and the flesh mounted with the garage door, right? The goal will be to come through the main uh, dock door. I'm gonna angle over towards the lasers and I'm gonna hook it over and then try to get out through the side door without hitting anything. If anything, we're gonna find out how durable this plant is. I'm giving I'm giving you like like maybe a 60% chance of just getting through the door okay. to begin with. And then I'd say probably Oh, I don't know. I give you I give you like a two percent chance of making it all the way through. I'll give you that. Two percent chance. I mean that's better it's, odds than we have most. It's times. gonna be rough. I mean like I, I don't doubt your skills or anything, but that's that's it's, gonna be a challenge. It's not like flying through the Connex containers where you know it was just a straight line. Right. We have to like navigate and it's not the slowest airplane, is it? Yeah. And if you make it, yeah. I nominate Dave Jester to go do it. Yeah, if I make it you have to. Sure, I'll plow it into the wall or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. I feel like I'm gonna crash before I even get outside. What do you think, Dave? We're gonna make it? Um, sure. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, first part done. Why am I seeing the landing gear? Oh, you're good. The camera just popped up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do it again. All right, you guys ready? Next round. Oh, oh. oh he so almost close. made it. How close did I make it? You were close. close. You're in a box. No! <laughs> it's right there! Oh, was I, on, was I on track? Yeah. That was awesome! I have the throws dialed way down because a lot of people think more throw means more control. It doesn't. But I think I have it dialed down a little bit too much. So I'm going to go ahead and kick it up just a touch. Is it still one piece? Yeah. <laughs> Airplane back? Airplane back. And look. We call these Mighty Minis because they're so light, they can take a beating, and this is definitely true. Okay. All right, round four. Yeah, you were really close, actually. Oh, that broke my heart. Okay, here we go. Whee! Oh, is that a little wing tip? Yeah. Oh. You good? Okay, here we go. Round four. I still can't believe this thing's still flying as good as it is. Oh no, I'm out of battery! Not the window! Ooh! Oh, wow! Did I hit? What did I hit? <laughs> Alright, I need a new battery! Dave, this will be my last try, bud. Okay. I'm really surprised it's held up as well as it has. I did too! I, I'm really thrilled about that. That's probably the best part about this. We just gotta get through the building. Alright, here we go. Landing. Round seven. Oh, oh he made it out. We're outside. <laughs> <laughs> I think you went in the dumpster. What I hit on the way out. The 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 wall. Darn it. But, but you made it out. I got out? Yeah. We got it out! It might have went in the dumpster. <laughs> All right, let's check out the damage. What did I, what did I snack? Under the wall. Oh. Yeah, you, you snacked the, the, the edge of the door coming out. Right there. It Please almost went in the out. dumpster. Really? <laughs> my building. I'm sorry. This is better. It was, I mean, that's honestly better than we both thought. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's still flyable. It is. Do you want to fly it? No, but I think someone else should try it. Dave? Anyone. I Anyone? don't care. I just want to see it happen again. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> wow. All right, so Jason said if I got through, which technically I did, I crashed the game, <laughs> you had to try it. Yeah. And if you make it, yeah. I nominate Dave Jester to go do it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see what happens here. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yep. Everyone right. set? All right, here we go. It's been hit a couple times. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Huh. All right, I'll hide behind you. Oh, this is cool watching from this angle. Oh, that is dark. 
Oh, that wing's real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the danger, the danger of being a camera guy. That wind is uh, <laughs> yeah. real. Yeah, like like I, I felt like I was lined up good, and then it was just like, nope, nope, you're, nope, nope. You were asking why I was going so fast. Like, <laughs> it really makes you crap. Okay, here we go. Oh, never mind. Oh, it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll do it. Whoops. All right, we're well, done. We're done. <laughs> All right, what do you think, man? Well, <laughs> well, obviously, I didn't make it through. <laughs> well, we had a blast here. If anything we learned, this thing is incredibly capable. It is a lot of fun to fly, both FPV, line of sight, aerobatic, and as a trainer. Yeah, yeah. so uh, I recommend going out and getting one. I'm, I think yeah. I'm going to. Definitely, definitely. This is now available in our store here. You can buy the original Tiny Tutor, which is a sub-250 three-channel, and then you can upgrade later, or you can buy the whole bundle with the four-channel wing that gives you two unique experiences. I am thrilled with how this flies. Let's go get another prop and have some more fun. Friends, hit that like and subscribe bell. We'll see you next time.